In this tutorial we're going to familiarize you with using the equation editor in Microsoft Word. So let's imagine that we were putting together a question sheet or an exam and we started by just using our automatic numbering. Now we want to enter an equation in there. First thing that we're going to do is make that easier by adding the equation editor button to our toolbar. So the equation editor button is buried under insert object and then we'd have to scroll down to find Microsoft Equation 3. So that's very awkward. To make that simpler we're going to add it to our toolbar. Now first of all if you don't have these split toolbars go to tools, customize, and make sure that this is checked where it says show standard and formatting toolbars on two rows. That always makes sure that you can see all of the buttons in the two toolbars. We're going to right click on the toolbar area and we're going to choose customize. Now we want to add a command to the toolbar so we click on commands. This is a reflection of our menu. File, edit, view, insert. So we found the equation editor under the insert menu. So we're going to scroll down. It's buried a little ways down here. And here's equation editor. Now to add that, all we do is drag it up to an appropriate position, maybe beside the tables, and drop it. Now I should point out that if you're on a machine that has deep freeze on it, that setting will not be saved. So this is more for when you're working on your own personal computer. But if you're making quite a few equations or expressions, it's probably worth doing this at the beginning, even if that won't be saved for the long term. Now we're going to add our equation. To do that, I'm going to click here. Here's our toolbar of the types of things we can add. I'm going to start by going to the fractions and radicals section. I'm going to create a fraction. And in the top half of the fraction, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to create a radical. So it's going to be the cube root of 8. Now I can come down and click in the bottom Go back to my fractions and radicals, pick a simple radical this time, and make it the square root of 4. So we have the cube root of 8 divided by the square root of 4. One of the things to think about when you're going to create your equations is to try to build them from the outside in. So you want to go to the larger item and go down to the detail. So in this case, that was our fraction, was the starting point, and then we went on to add the radicals and the numerator and the denominator. That order of operations works the best. Now I can simply click outside of that. There's our equation, or rather our expression. I'm going to hit shift enter to create a blank line and press enter to create my next number. Now I can go on to add yet another expression. But you've got some of the ideas of how to do that. Just, just explore some of the other things that we have within here. We have equalities, inequalities, congruencies, relational symbols there. We have brackets and parentheses here. We have summations, right? Arrows, derivatives and integrals, all of those things are possible within the equation editor. This was just a little sample to get you interested in using it to save yourself time.